It's been nearly a year since a Putnam County mother was killed and investigators have yet to make an arrest. 20 year old Naisha Nelson vanished sometime about February 11th last year after dropping her five year old daughter off at school. A week later, her remains were found at a shallow grave outside Crescent City. News for Jackson reporter Eric Avenier is joining us live with an update on the investigation. Eric, medical examiners already determined that her cause of death was a homicide. Yes, they did. And I can tell you right now that the Putnam County detectives that I spoke with say that the list of persons of interest in this uh, investigation is dwindling down. However, uh, there is at least one person that they are strongly looking into uh, as a potential suspect. We're just a few days away from the anniversary of when deputies located the human remains of 20-year-old Naisha Nelson, who had been reported missing. Although her death had been ruled a homicide, her killer remains a mystery, and authorities say the search for her killer has never slowed down. I will tell you, for a case that's a year old, this is the most active one-year-old case that I've seen in my career. Colonel Joe Wells of the Putnam County Sheriff's Office says the search for Nelson's killer is so active that the Sheriff's Office is receiving help from the FBI Behavioral Analysis Unit, which profiles and identifies patterns of criminal behavior to help local law enforcement narrow down a suspect or a specific person of interest. So certainly that's a huge asset they can bring to the table when we want them to consider um, various persons of interest. Colonel Wells says although the list of persons of interest has narrowed down, there is one person in particular who is very much on their radar. We made an editorial decision not to name this person because he has not been formally identified as the prime suspect in Nelson's murder. However, we can confirm the person of interest is a convicted sex offender with a violent criminal history that dates back to the 90s. According to court documents, in 2000, he was convicted of sexual battery, false imprisonment, and aggravated assault. He's currently in prison serving a five-year sentence after he was convicted of violating his sex offender probation by failing to adhere to sex offender registry requirements. Detectives discovered the violation while initially considering him to be a person of interest following the discovery of Nelson's body. She knew knew this subject and uh, was an acquaintance of his. Uh, it wasn't a uh, any indication of any type of close relationship. It wasn't a dating or domestic type relationship. But she was certainly familiar um, with uh, this particular person of interest. Now, Colonel Wells went on to say that they will not label this person of interest a prime suspect and charge him uh, with murder just yet. He says that uh, they want to make sure that they are 100 percent sure that he is the killer, because like he said, uh, they, they only get one chance at this and they want to make sure that they do not mess this up. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station. Eric, what is Nelson's family saying about this person of interest in the case? Well, Nelson's mother, who lives in North Carolina, has not yet returned any of my messages. However, I can tell you that uh, she has been posting a lot on social media, and everything she's been posting is basically wanting justice for her daughter. Okay. All right, Eric Avenue reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Eric.